Hey y'all, welcome to the Yang Homestead. If you're new to our channel, my name is Holly Yang. Make sure you hit subscribe so you'll be notified of our next videos. Today we're going to be making some bug repellent using beautyberry leaves. Beautyberry bushes, also known as French mulberry, sour bush, or bunchberry, are pretty common around these parts here in Arkansas. In fact, they grow like weeds. Beautyberry bushes are pretty easy to spot, especially in August and September when these little clusters of berries appear. So in order to make beautyberry bug repellent, we're going to need some beautyberry leaves. Harvesting is pretty self-explanatory. Just simply pick the leaves from the stems. Picking beauty berry bush leaves is also a great way to include your kids because you don't have to worry about any uh, poisonous berries. If they eat it, it's fine. And in fact, the berries can be made into a really great tasting jelly. Every part of a beauty berry bush can be used in some way to treat health issues. And the Native Americans use this plant very often for medicinal purposes. Farmers also used to crush up the leaves and place it underneath the harnesses of their horses and mules to keep mosquitoes away and would use it on themselves as well. And with today's modern scientific research, there have been been found two compounds located in the leaves of beautyberry bushes that really do repel biting insects. And by the end of this video, we're going to put that to the test. So now that we have a good collection of beautyberry leaves, we're going to head back to the house and make us some bug repellent. So what you're going to need is a good amount of beautyberry leaves. It really doesn't matter how much you have, it just really depends on how much bug repellent you want to make. You're going to want to use a mortar and pestle, you're going to need some vodka, and you'll need a jar. And then of course later on you'll need a spray bottle. I also learned that basil is a great bug repellent also, so I decided to head to my mother-in-law's basil patch and pick me about a handful of basil leaves to put in our repellent. I know some of you are wondering why am I using vodka in my bug repellent? Well, that's mainly because vodka is a great bug repellent on its own. It repels mosquitoes, ants, and bees. Now, just because I'm using a mortar and pestle doesn't mean you have to. You could also use a food processor and really grind it up really well if you wanted. It's really just your preference. Yeah, so that happened, which was not cool. But that's okay. We will carry on. I just went ahead and ripped up the leaves by hand and that worked just fine. It's really not that technical. Now you're just going to want to place it in your jar. Any jar will do. Here I'm using a recycled spaghetti sauce jar. And this is also a great little job for littles to do. Look at those little hands. They're so adorable. <laughs> I'm letting my daughter try her hand at recording. She did a pretty good job for the most part. <laughs> Now 
Now you're going to want to add your vodka and you're going to fill it up about level with your leaves. Oh, and don't forget to put your basil leaves in there. When you've got littles around, things always turn up in the strangest places. Now just put that lid on tight, and then you're going to want to shake it. <clears throat> now just let your concoction sit for at least four hours overnight would be even better you can skip the next minute and a half if you want it's just what we did while we waited get away from my garden so for those of y'all who follow Come along on. I'm sure you'll remember what I said about my worries about our cow getting into the garden. Hmm? You better not be. Good boy. It's only a matter of time before on, he eats it all. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> okay so I ended up letting mine sit overnight and now here it is ready to strain I made sure to drain out every drop you should get something that looks like this now you're going to need that spray bottle I mentioned before, and a funnel. Now you're going to want to add your favorite essential oil. I use lavender, not only because it smells great, but it's also another great bug repellent. And that's how you make bug spray. Okay, here's where I put my repellent to the test. We've got ants like crazy around our house, so I knew that I could definitely test to see if it would repel ants. So, as you can see, I sprayed a rock, riled up the ants, and look how they won't even get on it. I am super excited about this bug repellent. I hate using harsh chemicals on me and my family, and this is a good natural alternative. If you guys got to use this recipe, please let me know how it turned out. I'd love to hear about it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe.